I'm not as bright today as I would like to be. I think I'm suffering from a little intestinal flu, so if I don't um, hang in there very long, I hope you'll forgive me. I want to thank you all for the wonderful birthday present you gave me of just your presence, your company, your smiles, your love, and uh, I very much appreciate it. It was a wonderful weekend. This weekend, we're celebrating Memorial Day, and the celebration is for all the uh, soldiers that died in the war, and uh, I would like to suggest that we pray not only for those patriotic Americans who died to protect America, but also quite the opposite of uh, uh, something I experienced when I was just, it was just after the war. And uh, I went to a church in Boxford where my godfather lived, and it was an incredible service. Apart from saying nothing at all, he uh, urged us to um, drink to forget. That was the subject. Drink to forget. What are you supposed to forget? Well, I can see forgetting the meanness, the hatred, the... Although, no, no, we were supposed to forget the dirty Japs and the horrible Nazis and this thing and that thing. And then, final insult, the wine that they, were, that they usually give for communion was grape juice. <laughs> <laughs> but what I would like to say is that we should pray not for one side, but for all sides. Pray for humanity, that it can fall into such pits of rage and destruction as to keep the world constantly in turmoil. It's a rare thing, unfortunately. I don't suppose it has ever happened that the whole world has been at peace. Master said that after the final blow up that we're coming toward, there will be peace for 200 years. People will be so fed up with fighting and destroying. But war is only one manifestation of the wish to do harm, which takes countless forms. The wish to hurt other people, the wish to um, strike back. So much of our culture, especially in the West, but I suppose it's taken other forms elsewhere, is based on um, competition. Somebody wrote a, a, a an analysis of this mathematically and found that cooperation is a much better way to get ahead. Master used to say this too. He said that uh, if you look upon other people as your friends in a town of, let's say, a thousand merchants, every merchant will have 999 friends. Isn't that a lot better than having 999 enemies? Competition is self-destructive. It's one of the basic lessons that cooperative communities are all about.